Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. All right, folks, let's talk about Virginia. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax got some good news, some pollings out this week. For the first time in three weeks since allegations of sexual misconduct surfaced, more Virginians want him to remain in office than resign. According to a Roanoke College poll yesterday, 40% say Fairfax should remain, 31% say he should resign, 29% uh, had no opinion. Uh, you still have Republicans there, uh, Tiffany, who want there to be uh, hearings to impeach him. He keeps saying, hey, I want a law enforcement investigation. I'm still baffled that the Suffolk County District Attorney in Boston has said, if Professor Vanessa Tyson mm -hmm. files a complaint, I will investigate. Right. Her lawyers announced she's going to meet with the DA. That was been almost a couple of weeks now, but they haven't said they're going to actually file. I I'm still just trying to understand how you're open to speaking at an impeachment hearing, but you won't file a, a criminal complaint with the DA who has the authority to investigate. Right, which then has the authority to investigate and then make a decision and go to trial about it. So this, it's really, really fishy. I'm not trying to, under, I don't really understand why that's happening and we won't find out until later, I'm sure. But the polls speak power to what's going on and what they want to see. Uh, Deshaun, will go to you. Again, this is the issue I have. Look, I believe if a woman says I was sexually assaulted, I want, the, I want a full investigation. Mm -hmm. A DA is saying, I am ready to investigate, but you got to file a complaint. And she's not doing mm -hmm. it. It hasn't happened. No. And you know what? I, again, I, now I live in Virginia, okay? Now let me pull out the Virginia ties. I'm a member of the um, DPVA Central Committee. What and is I mean, that? Is Central Committee, we're like no, the voting DPVA, members. what is that? Oh, Democratic Party of Virginia. Go ahead. Go you know, go. I got to say this. My kid and I, we were out campaigning for Northam. We were out campaigning for Harris. You know, um, we were out campaigning for Justin Fairfax. Okay, so we were out there. This for me is personal. These are people that I've gone out there for, that I've campaigned for, that I want to see in office. You know, and I take a lot of black folks, we take this personally because we're feeling that we're being attacked. Let's talk about Northam. If you want to have a real conversation, let's keep the focus on that, him being in blackface and then the next day denying he was even in that photo. Joe. Well, I, I, I tread lightly with this only because uh, in my household, the, the, the women and the young girls are watching this very carefully, and they're watching their dad and their grandfather. I'm like you. I think whenever an accusation is made, you better take it seriously. But I am also on your side that if this is real, and you've got a prosecutor in Massachusetts that says there is no statute of limitation, and that's the, the main concern, right. then you really should want to get to the bottom of it. You really should want an investigation. Yeah. Be, and, and because what the Republicans are trying to do here, really, they're not, they're not that concerned about no. these two African-American women. No, they, they want to cut their head off they yeah. the yeah. entire Democratic that's, leadership. That's exactly all right. All right, folks, that's our Roland Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, calling all HBCU alumni, students, and leaders. Enter the Ford Motor Company, HBCU, Mobility Challenge, and win $25,000 for your school. Building on their long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant of up to $25,000 to implement the proposal. Now, the deadline is to apply. It's March 31st, 2019. Go to fgb.life for more information to apply. fgb.life for more information to apply. And if you're watching, tell your HBCU that if they don't know about this, they need to be doing it. You should be pushing this on social media. Again, folks, 25 grand uh, that could go to one of the HBCU campuses. Ford goes further in our community, and we certainly uh, appreciate them being a partner here on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.